In this session, we will explore CyberAnge Virtual Labs, which the All India Council for Technical Education, Ministry of Education, recognizes under the NEET 2.0. You can log into the Virtual Labs with your registered username and password to access the complete range of cybersecurity labs. On the left, you can see the various topics such as penetration testing, reverse engineering, digital forensics, IoT security, systems security, password hacking, web exploitation, and so on. Each of the topics has various challenges categorized as easy, medium, and hard, based on their difficulty. We will look at a simple challenge for this demonstration that exploits a vulnerability in a popular CMS platform, Drupal. This challenge requires the learner to enumerate the list of users in the target application. Each challenge page is divided into sections such as description, instructions, prohibited activities, solution, and submit answer. The description section outlines the task in the challenge. On completing the challenge, the candidate verifies the result using the submit answer section. The solution section provides a detailed step-by-step -step guide to complete the task. Every student gets an exclusive private cloud to practice their labs. The labs spawn the vulnerable target system along with the link to access the attacker machine. The attacker machine consists of the Kali OS, the most advanced penetration testing distribution based on Linux operating system. Kali OS is an open source, Debian based Linux distribution, geared towards various information security tasks, such as penetration testing, security research, computer forensics, and reverse engineering. Let's copy the target host name and start Metasploit using the terminal. Metasploit is the world's most used penetration testing framework. The MSF console is probably the most popular interface to the Metasploit framework. It provides an all-in-one centralized console and allows you efficient access to virtually all of the MSF options. While Metasploit does have a graphical user interface option, the MSF console is the only supported way to access most of the features within Metasploit. MSF console may seem intimidating at first, but once you learn the commands, you learn to appreciate the power of utilizing this interface. Once we launch the MSF console, we search for auxiliary modules related to Drupal, our target system. A module is a piece of software that the Metasploit framework uses to perform a task, such as exploiting or scanning a target. The Metasploit framework includes hundreds of auxiliary modules that perform scanning, fuzzing, sniffing, and much more. Although these modules will not give you a shell, they are extremely valuable when conducting a penetration test. Auxiliary modules do not require the use of a payload to run like exploit modules. These types of modules include valuable programs such as scanners, and SQL injection tools. Penetration testers use the plethora of scanners in the auxiliary directory to gather, a deep understanding of the system to be attacked, and then transition to exploit modules. We will now set the target by using the rhosts command. After setting the target, we simply run the command, exploit. We can now see that our exploit has executed and it has found some usernames. These usernames are also saved in a text file in the displayed location. The text file can be viewed using the cat command. We can verify our answers by submitting them in the dashboard. The verification of the answer confirms that we have completed the lab successfully. The steps of the lab can also be seen in the solution document in the event a student needs help. We can now stop the lab and try different challenges. Virtual labs provide you with real systems and enable you to become industry ready with hands-on cybersecurity skills.